And she lives at this address. You know where to find me. Right. <laughs> That's her! <laughs> Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and welcome to another episode of Community Conversations. Our next guest is Brandy Green. Brandy, welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. Let's get started. I always say that, and it's weird. Anyways, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Welcome to our episode. You've been watching our episodes? I have seen a few of your shows, yes. Okay. And what do you think? I think they're actually really cool. Um, it's... I think it's actually bringing the community together, you know, letting us know who each other are. That's our goal. That was yeah. our goal. Was it because we said that, or, or is it actually like something? No, I actually you, never even heard you say that. <laughs> you never heard me say that. No, no. Anybody I just, else I, has said that? No. No one else has talked about the show. Uh, well, my husband. I mean, you had him on. <laughs> you had him on here. So, right. so uh, tell us where you're from. Um, tell us what brings you out in Battle Mountain. So. Originally, I lived in Georgia, and I moved out to Nevada um, a few years ago, and about a year ago, I moved from a town called Elko to Battle Mountain, and I've been here almost a year. Why did you come out from Georgia um, to I here? I came out for a new start, um, to go to college, and to uh, a new start, just a fresh start. It was right after graduation, I unfortunately got into some trouble. Mm -hmm. But um, I came right here to straighten out. And you came all the way to Battle Mountain. Most yes. people don't even know what that is. No, I used to pass through here going to Winnemucca. <laughs> and you decided to come here because? I met my husband um, oh. that lived here. Oh. So I moved out here, started working at my own place. and. So someone snatched someone snatched you up and brought yeah, you up. Yeah, <laughs> That's how I got here too. Someone said it's like the Bermuda <laughs> Triangle where you, yes. where you see it and you get stuck. <laughs> but I really like Battle Mountain. It's quiet. There's not a whole lot of crime out here. It's it's a sleepy little town and it's it's wonderful. It reminds me of my little town that I was living in in Georgia. Were you like me when you got here and you were like, I despise this place? At first, yeah. At first. It's growing. It grew a little bit on me, yeah. Yeah, so. it's 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 cool. I mean, it's different. You know, there's so much to do. Right. <laughs> but no, I was just curious about you know that's what we want to do for this show. We want to bring people together, and that's what you said that it, you feel like it's doing that. Or I actually I know it's doing that with the um, because of the show I've seen on um, other uh, episodes of yours where you've videotaped our softball teams, our um, cheerleaders, our events that we have going on. You just, you're letting people know, hey, we're on the map, we're here. Yeah, it's weird, to be honest. Like but stepping it's cool. into that. I thank you. <laughs> but it's weird. <laughs> stepping in that role. I mean, even this show, like doing the first episode with my wife, um, Steven's your husband. He was on the second episode. <laughs> so it was weird. It was just, it's a weird thing. So you have a business going on, don't you? I do. I sell um, Unique, which are makeup products on the side. Oh, cool. Yeah. Tell, tell your audience about that. So um, what Unique is, is it's all about beauty products, um, generally for women, but, you know, it's not just limited to women. Um, we have products for everybody, honestly, uh, skincare products, but my famous, my Favorite, I should say, is um, the makeup. What got me into it was the 4D mascara that I have just fallen in love with. I don't have any on today because I actually have to go to my actual job here in a little bit. But um, I just, I love it. The skincare is amazing and the foundation is absolutely flawless. It just, I love every bit of it. And it's, it's high-end makeup for not high-end prices. Like, it's... It's great quality. I, I have a kind of a question because I, I mean, I, makeup is interesting to me as a perspective of a man. I'm kind of like, and I've heard different reasons, um, but I guess like anything else, right? Um, 
the question I would ask is, and it's it's going to sound harsh. I'm not trying to come off that way. It's just an honest question. Um, why do women wear makeup? Or well, what's your reason you can't speak for all women? Okay, I can't speak for all women, but my general reasoning is because women are very self-conscious. We're very um, in tune to how the world sees us or how we think the world sees us. Um, honestly, a man generally doesn't even notice if a woman's wearing makeup or not. Um, that's just how a man is. But as women, we use makeup to hide our flaws. Some women have uneven skin tone or blemishes. Um, I have scarring on my face, so I use makeup to cover that up. Mm. And it gives us a sense of a concealed secret that makes us feel beautiful. I guess that's the, you know, that's why I wear deodorant. If I, didn't, <laughs> I, if I didn't, you know, I don't want well, I would hope everybody wears deodorant. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like... <laughs> It's kind of for yourself is what you're saying. It's right. not really for anyone else. It's not really for anybody else. It's for yourself. Yeah. And that's why I wear deodorant. Actually, I don't wear deodorant because... <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear deodorant because of my sake. I wear the deodorant for your sake. For right. There sake. you go. <laughs> and I shower for that reason, too, because otherwise I just don't really care. Right. I don't really have the nostrils to, to smell anything. Well, you'd be lucky. You know, there's been times <laughs> I have smelled people and it's like... Okay. It's probably me. <laughs> no, actually, no. Actually, generally, it, it's it's it, in the past. It's been in the workforce. It's been where I work. Um, I'm not saying in my current company that I work for now, but it, like in past companies I've worked for, um, there's always that one individual that didn't put deodorant on or didn't shower, and it's like I never worked with you. <laughs> <laughs> She's calling me out. Like, I am not. I've never worked with you. I've I've attended church with you, and I can say, you know, you've never. I've never had an issue at church. Put it that way. I've, had, I've, <laughs> I've had, sorry. I've had it. I've I've had people complain about my smell, but they never tell me about it. I always hear it from a third party. It's just like, oh no! And it broke my heart. Actually, I actually had a big insecurity in that area. I would mm -hmm. like, let's just say, I was out in the bar, and I stank. <laughs> it's hard day's work, right? Yeah. You know, I just want to be no, I wasn't working. I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and this this <laughs> this bartender complained about me, <laughs> and I was like, and um, it hurt my feelings. You know yeah. what I mean? I I cried a little bit. I walked outside. And I started asking everybody, "Do I stink?" And they were like, "No, no." And I realized in that moment. They're not going to tell me the truth. Right. No, I, and I asked this one guy, the last guy I asked, that was the last person. He said, why is it, why do you care what everyone thinks, whether you think or not? And I was like, this is, you know, and, uh, I was really a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was a baby. I am kind of a baby still, but as far as like people's opinions about me, you know, mm -hmm. and now as you get older, or I personally, I feel as, as you grow closer to Jesus in your relationship, you just don't really, you realize what's important and what isn't. Right. And deodorant is not important. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. You know, God loves you no matter what. Stinky, dirty, whatever. But your neighbor, maybe not. <laughs> your neighbor, you know. <laughs> but that's the, see, that's the turn of the flip, I guess. It's kind of like your my neighbor could be like, you know, you stink. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah. There but then if they stink. I'd be like, you smell beautiful. No, I probably won't say that because I don't, I don't really smell anything unless it's like strong. Right, it's got to be pretty strong. I mean, normally, I don't pay no mind. I mean, I have kids. Kids stink anyway. You know, <laughs> so you know, so I'm used to like their smell because they've been out sweating, playing in the dirt all day. You know, so I'm used to that. So I mean, you've got to smell pretty bad for me to pick up on it. No, <laughs> you I flies flying off of I'm kind of exaggerating as far as my stinkiness, but. Um, what I'm saying is, you know, it's not something that I'm always like, oh, right. I gotta, you know, it's more like, oh, that's part of my routine. You right. Know? Yeah. But, yeah. So what is your like deepest fear, I guess, when it comes to something like that or embarrassment? Um, I guess I follow the line, like line of view. Like I. I would be really embarrassed if somebody told me 
that I stank, mm-hmm. you know, I'd be like, oh gosh, that's, that's super embarrassing. And I, I probably would like start bawling because of just pure embarrassment. Right. But I mean, I guess that's why I try to maintain my personal hygiene for the sake of, cause that has happened to me when I was in junior high, you know, just coming into being a woman. You know, I didn't realize that, you know, sometimes your when your body changes, you you stink. Mm-hmm. And my mom, bless her heart, worked um, at the mines here in El- in, uh, in Nevada. Your, and so mom, she, your mom that came to church worked at the mines? Oh, she still works like at the mines. Like hard labor? Hard labor, yeah. It's like, still works at the mines. She pulls 80-hour plus weeks. Oh, my gosh. That's, and um, she's been at her company. Been at her company terribly for awesome. 22 years. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't retired? She's not retiring? Not yet. She's got five more years. And then she's going to retire. She um, loves it? Not really, but I mean, she's been a single mom years and years and years ago. She, you know, she that's the way she provided for me and my brother. Mm. So, um, you have a brother. I have two brothers. How old are they? My older brother is 36, and my younger brother is 26. 36, 26? Yeah. And you are 27. Oh. You're 27. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I did not even know that. Did you know she's 27? I knew she was close to our age, but I knew she was younger. That's not close. We are on 30s. That's not close. That's a mop. That is like here to the moon once you hit into a different bracket zone. You know what I mean? You round up. She can still be rounded down. No, I'll be 28 in December. So y'all know she's 27. And Stephen's how old? 32. <laughs> Got me all jealous you, on the you, you camera. Have, you have room to talk? <laughs> you have room to talk? What are you talking about? How old are you? I'm 30. How old's your wife? I don't pay attention to that because I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> I can't say no nu- numbers. Say alphabets. You A B. That's what you are. <laughs> Shoot. Say a woman's name. You're trying to trap me. <laughs> you're sitting there, oh, there asking me how old I am on camera. But you didn't have the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. I probably oh. when I get like 35, then I'll be like, no, I'm 29. <laughs> you act way more older than you are. Thank I'm, you. I'm not. Ashamed of it. That's why I asked him. I was just saying he's calling you out with Stephen being older, and is she older than you? Yeah. Where are you? Thirty-four. Yeah. Four years, and Stephen is how? Five years. Five years. That's my age limit, though. I don't go any higher than five years. <laughs> How'd you meet Stephen? <laughs> wait, wait. How did it happen? How did it go down? <laughs> so I met Stephen. Work for T-Mobile. I was um, his customer representative. Steven. <laughs> he, Everybody gonna know. <laughs> I was his customer representative. He was one of my clients. And we just started talking and getting to know each other. You gotta go in detail more than that. You gotta... <laughs> so one of the things working for T-Mobile that they will teach you is um, make it personal. Which means get to know your client. Get to know who your customer is. Get to know what you're dealing with. Exhibit A. Mm-hmm. So I was... Talking to Stephen, and somehow or another, I just started giving him my life story. Don't know why. I talked about the death of my daughter. I talked about the relationship I was currently in at the time, how abusive and manipulative it was. And I mean, I was just going to town, just telling him this. And he's just sitting there going, uh huh. Oh, wow. Okay. I even talked about, about, about my drug addiction that I have been in recovery from, you know, everything under the moon. And finally, I, I took a step back and said, I am so sorry. I have absolutely no idea why I am telling you any of this. And he smiled and laughed. And he goes, it's okay. I get that a lot, actually. A lot of people just start telling me things. And I looked at him. I said, well, what are you, a preacher or something? He said, actually, I'm studying to be one. And that's how the whole thing started. I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> and I'm editing a, he, he preached last Sunday, yesterday. Yesterday. And I'm editing that. And then she came out the door. Oops. <laughs> no, it's fine. I almost forgot too. I was like, who's that? Who that? That's what I said to my you, phone, right? yes. <laughs> you know what's funny is like my entire life I've tried to avoid my blackness. 
Really? You gave Steven a black card. I never said that. <laughs> I never said that in front of the camera. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't actually give him an actual card. I don't have walk around with black cards. I just said something. I just said it. <laughs> you said he was a brother. <laughs> That's what you should do. Like, Carry on black card. Come, come in, like, uh, you can get the... Wh written in white or written in black? No, no just like, you only you want to come the, to the show too? You only have the black cards from a deck of cards. Take out all the red ones. You can you can give the red ones to. Yo, Battle Mountain racist. That's what this is. <laughs> racist. All these white people say all these racist stuff. <laughs> I thought that was no, no, I'm not You're the one that I'm done. Right. Right. <laughs> this game's gonna get me trolled, man. Did you want grape soda with it? <laughs> Joy, you hear I that? Up, you hear I that? grew up in the South. I grew up in, I went to a school that was 90% black. I was considered snow on campus. Really? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> you just, just owned it. But you have that, I, you have that ghetto flying. I, I am very ghetto. Kinda, <laughs> I am very ghetto. And I think it's like, I don't know, it's just, um, I was ashamed of my blackness growing really? up. Yeah, I try to like, like, I was ashamed. Just, let's just say that. Just leave it at that. <laughs> My high school sweetheart was black. Yeah? He's black. He's black. Still black? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay, so that's, it was weird, but then it was, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't speak with, uh. You wouldn't speak the, the lingo. Yeah. The lingo, yeah, like I'm doing now. <laughs> I'm doing for y'all. I bring it out, and a lot of people, I, I have noticed that, especially if somebody is a, my southern comes out is what I call it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's weird, but I think it was like, for me, it was like when I started to learn how to love myself, God's like, embrace it. You know? And it's just like, it's like the funnest thing ever. Mm -hmm. That's probably most of our conversation has been like, I could turn it on, turn it off like that. Same. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it is funny, it just, and it switches just like that. If somebody starts talking that way, I yeah. automatically just go into it. Uh, yeah. They're like, <laughs> on the same level as me. Like, I can, yeah, I can, I can, it's weird. <laughs> but I can turn on, I can, and I can, I can turn on the cap, the cowboy and, and me too. <laughs> I can just do that, I guess. I've hung around a lot of weird people, so I'm pretty weird. No, no, I mean, honestly, I mean, being Southern, I have learned that, okay, yes, that defines me to a point, but at the same time, I'm me. Like, I might sound and look like a lot of the girls down home, mm -hmm. but I'm still me. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I didn't... Back home, Danny the White Boy was born. I'm just going to put it this <laughs> way. <laughs> okay? Why was it boring? I'm, a, I'm not trying to, you know, what why is it boring to me? I don't know. I just... Maybe just those kind of, you know, that person. I was just attracted to the dark... The dark meat. Just different. Yes. That's why I married a white woman. Because I needed some boringness in my life. Nikki, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm she's like, not you boring. Kill you? No, she's not. No, it's just. She's very different from me. Because and I don't talk like your sister? Because <laughs> I married my sister. Or I would like to marry my sister, what are you trying to say? This is, this is between me and her. <laughs> you brought me into it by saying my name. And right. now I'm Nicre sorry. Lucretia. Exactly. <laughs> That's, That's what, what Nikki's Nikki is short for. Lucretia. I never knew that. No. I thought it was Nicole. <laughs> she believes It's not Lucretia. That's a joke. That's what she's saying. I thought you told me it was Nicole. It's Nicole. But, <laughs> but you know, there, there's a, a brother down in Oklahoma that Nicole believes you, Nikki's yeah. short for Lucretia. That's actually a really pretty name. I always like their, I, honestly, I've always liked their the names and they came up, the uniqueness of them because it's like, oh gosh, you know, I mean, that is so gorgeous. Like, I've been with, I've always found like Tanisha was like a really pretty name. I don't know. Do I come over and sit over here? No. I'll just take a break. Real oh, quick. I'm sorry. Just, no, you're good. I'm just. <laughs> you have a lot of I'm editing. listening. You're <laughs> doing all the. You know, a lot of editing. <laughs> no, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll it like that. Someone asked me many questions. They were like, 
they're like, what are your what are your interview questions? Because I ask them if they want to be on the show, and they're like, you got to tell me because I don't want to be on it if I don't know what they're gonna be. And I'm like, that's the point. The point is just getting to, to know who you are. It's just freestyle. That's yeah. what we do. We freestyle. You know, you don't want a scripted. <laughs> Some people have to live like straight up by the book. Nine a.m. is coffee. Ten a.m. shower. Eleven a.m. jog. You know. <laughs> So some people the are show like, is community conversations, not community schedule. interview or community questions. I'm gonna say I'm gonna do that next time. I'm gonna be like, so uh, what's your what's your favorite color? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm just. <laughs> How about your favorite food? <laughs> Lasagna. <laughs> Lasagna. Yeah. Or barbecue ribs. Cool. Or pizza. Or mac and cheese, or any food. <laughs> top, top, do you like sushi? I love sushi. Love. Do you sushi. like Dragon Ball Z? I do. I do. I love so, Dragon Ball Z. I love anime, though. You like anime? I'm a Dragon Ball Z. Steven's not a Dragon Ball no, Z. No, he's not. He's weird. <laughs> do, do you like Dragon Ball Z? I, mean, I didn't. I, I didn't. I don't want to say I didn't like it. I'd never watched it or really had anything to do with it until you. Mm. Yeah. So I was indifferent to it, I guess I would say. It's just confused, just kind of like, what is he doing? He's like, ah! Like, <laughs> well, I had to laugh at Steven the one morning that we were talking about at church, and Steven's just, he faked it till he made it, and I'm like, you got, <laughs> I really thought you were into it! He goes, no, actually, I don't, no. <laughs> I'm like, you lied at church! <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> he's, he's funny. He's he's. I think I have to say I picked a good one. Yeah, he's he's uh very forgivable. Oh man, I need to work on my forgiveness. He is very actually. Yeah, he is very forgivable. He 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 takes a lot of Wait. life with a grain of salt. Wait. Like he'd just be like, she be like, I forgive you. But you'll never say. Well, see, we were, like last night, we were wrestling at a friend's house. We went to Elko, we were at one of my best friend's house, and we started wrestling because she's my second home and everything. No, no, no. And in towards actually what ended the wrestling is I was I was angry because I couldn't win, so I grabbed the dog's water bottle no, no. that they had and I threw it on Steven. And the look yeah. on his face it was like, "Are you serious?" You right now? I, did. Face. I did one like that, and, and he was he was angry at first, and then he's like, "I forgive you." I'm like, "You really shouldn't. You should be really mad at me right now." He goes, "I'm not happy you did that, but I still love you, so I forgive you." That's <laughs> intense, man. Oh, um, I I go hardcore. I go all in and out of all. Yeah. Water. Yeah. I do. Water. I I love throwing water on, on my husband specifically, but <laughs> just to see if he gets angry. Just no, see his reaction. <laughs> to see if he gets angry. <laughs> David, I love you, sweetheart. I know you're gonna watch this. I love you. <laughs> Was Signs your favorite movie? What what? Was Signs your favorite movie? Was Signs. Joy. Like, what do you mean? Because you love throwing water on people. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. You've never seen Signs? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, now I, I have to think about it. Yes. I actually enjoyed that, enjoyed that movie fairly well. Despite its creepiness of it, I actually really did enjoy it. But no, Signs is not my favorite movie. My favorite no. movie is a chick flick. <laughs> what, what, what is that? A Walk to Remember. What's that? It's uh, based what off What are you looking of, at me like that for? Based off a novel by... Is it Nicholas black people in it? Probably not. Actually, That's... one... Yes. One... <laughs> oh, why did you say so? Are you actually gonna look like this? <laughs> like that person in Bell Y'all tripping. <laughs> but um, it's it's based off of a novel by Nicholas Sparks, and it's a Christian movie, and um, it's about high schoolers coming of age, whatnot. Well, this this one girl who's kind of like the the geek, the what everybody makes fun of, um, she yeah. does this play. Well. Every, all, all high schools have, like, the bad boy, you know, the the popular kid that does mm-hmm. that gets in trouble and stuff like that. Well, he gets in trouble, and he's ordered to do the spring play. Well, he does it with this, the geek or the one that's made fun of all the time. Well, they fall in love. Come to find out she's got leukemia and is dying. 
but he falls in love with her anyway. And it's just like a coming of age story, uh, working through the emotions. And she's a Christian. Her dad's a preacher. And, you know, all this. It's just, it's a cute story. It's, it's a, mm. I, I, I loved it. Do you relate that to your, your story? Or want, want, it, want to? You know what? Actually to? thinking about it now, this just come to me. I remember sitting in high school watching this movie and thinking, that would be so nice to fall in love with somebody whose dad's a preacher and he, you know. Oh, you're talking about, oh, you're talking about that. <laughs> That's my dad's face right there. It's and it's based out of North Carolina Stop. where I was born, you know, it's like, oh, I just, I don't know, I liked it. But I have a couple favorite movies that I like. So. Okay, so we're almost out of time right now. Is there any last things you want Battle Mountain to know? I'm a wild one. Like, I go to church and I am a full on Christian woman and I love going to our wonderful church at Battle Mountain Assembly of God. But I am also the same woman that would love to go mud bogging, go out to the river, go get dirty, you know. If it's a crazy idea, count me out. Or count me on board. Like, let's be honest. All uh, right. So. I was like, you're going to have to find that real quick. <laughs> uh, I, I thought about that. I was like, I probably should have known this page. And make sure that people know, you know, no, I'm not a bar hopper or anything like that. I don't go to the bars, but... Um, like, I don't know if you were there last year when we did the Halloween thing and I had that big blow-up thing. I jumped on it. Uh, I think so. Oh, yeah. With Daphne. <laughs> so, you know, I'm the wild one. I'm the crazy one. All right. That wraps up our time. Uh, we hope to see you again. Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much. God bless.